Hello, our reader aloud this week is called My Body. Now this is kind of a long book, so I'm going to read the first part, and then Miss Dengis and Miss Martin will read the other parts in other videos, okay? So we're going to start and we're going to read the first few pages of My Body. My Body. It's all, we're going to learn all about our bodies. My Body by Andrea Pennington and Penny Lamperl. My body. This is the table of contents. The table of contents shows us what is in our book and what page we can find that information on. Outside. Your body is amazing. Can you name all its parts? No one looks quite like you unless you are an identical twin. Look, they look exactly the same. Inside. Here are the parts you would see if you looked under your skin. Brain, ribs, heart. You see all of these veins and muscles in your body. Hair. Hair grows on almost every part of your body. It protects you and keeps you warm. What color is your hair? Your hair is not alive. That's why it doesn't hurt when it gets cut. The hair on your head grows about six inches a year. Skin. Your skin protects your insides and keeps your body at the right temperature. Goosebumps raise the hairs on your skin, trapping heat to warm you up. This is what your skin looks like. Your skin gets more wrinkly as you get older. See, here's a little hand, no wrinkles, couple wrinkles, lots of wrinkles. Bones. Your bones keep your body parts together and help you move. They help protect your insides too. All your bones together are called your skeleton. Say that word with me, skeleton. Muscles pull on bones to make you move. X-rays are photos of your bones. They help doctors see if any bones are broken. This is an X-ray. Who's in charge? Your brain controls what you think, feel, and do. It sends and receives messages to and from your body. Your brain is busy, even when you are sleeping. Your brain controls actions you don't think about, like breathing. It makes memories like of places you have lived. Your brain controls your thoughts and your movements. Train your brain. Look at these things for a minute, then close the book. What can your brain remember? I'm going to have you look at the page. All right, who can tell me one thing that they remember seeing on the page? Very good, you're training your brain to remember all these things. Breathing. You breathe air to get the oxygen your body needs. Air enters your body through your mouth and nose. It goes down through your windpipes into your lungs. Oxygen from the air passes from your lungs into your blood. You breathe about 18,000 times every day. Try breathing onto a mirror. It mists up because your breath is warm and wet. Breathing out gets rid of waste your body doesn't need. We are going to read the rest of this story with Miss Martin and Miss Dengis in the next video.